हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू अक्षता क्लासेस टुडे वी विल डू डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ कैलाश चंद्रास वॉल्यूम वन ट्रांसक्रिप्शन नंबर थर्टी फोर पार्ट टू हुज स्पीड विल बी हंड्रेड वर्ड्स पर मिनट योर डिटेशन विल स्टार्ट इन नेक्स्ट फाइव सेकेंड फाइव फोर थ्री टू वन स्टार्ट सर वी मस्ट बियर इन माइंड द इकोनॉमिक वाइबिलिटी ऑफ स्मॉल प्लांटेश फाइव हेक्टेयर्स and the financial capacity of the small planters to fulfill the obligations cast on them to provide housing and crutch facilities those small planters in some cases are unable to provide themselves with houses and medical care as good as those intended for their workers in the bill i am sure that good many small holdings will go into liquidation unable to bear the burden when the prices fall as in the case of tea today i would emphatically say that clause 13 is not only draconian but discriminatory and it is most harass and killing to the farming community of india whose hands feed and clothe the people poor and rich sir i strongly feel that the punishment with both compulsory fine and imprisonment is too severe for violation of a welfare legislation covered by the act for economic reasons and financial incapacity the debt ridden employer particularly a small holder may be unable to discharge the obligations such as providing type design houses crutches medical facilities etc in such cases there is no point in sending the land holder to jail and collecting a fine from him for every day of default the relevant provisions in the bill are made more stringent than the factories act under which in the case of a further offence the court is given the discretion to punish the defaulting employer but in the proposed amendment the word used is sell instead of may which makes it mandatory on the court to impose imprisonment as well as fine these provisions are too harass and discriminatory particularly in view of the fact that the bill seeks to bring in farms of five hectares which are in the nature of present holdings under the scope of the act sir i would like to ask the government of the people for the people and by the people in the name of the farmers of india why it wants to treat a farmer as a criminal and to be imprisoned for such an offence while it does not do so for a factory owner of a city by making this comparison i do not mean that a provision should be made in the relevant factories act to make the sentence of imprisonment compulsory for similar offences let me make it clear that i am not speaking against the interests of the workers in the plantations i am only speaking against the stringent and invidious measures which have been provided in the bill affecting the rural employers and the invidious laws enacted for them dictation has completed like the video and do subscribe the channel thank you